If the idea of meal prep feels overwhelming, not to mention pretty bland and boring, this video is for you. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the 3 to one method, which is my unique meal prep strategy that I developed to limit weekly prep to just one hour and still give you a completely different flavor packed meal every night of the week. Welcome back guys, I'm Lindsay, a registered dietitian here to simplify nutrition and make food feel good. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel by hitting the little red button below and I will be posting new videos every Wednesday to help you with meal prep, meal planning, my favorite time-saving kitchen hacks, and of course, delicious and nutritious recipes. If you're sick of staring into the fridge blankly night after night wondering what's for dinner, I get it, I've been there, it is not fun. By the end of this video, you'll have a super simple strategy that you can rinse and repeat to consistently get healthy meals on the table night after night and even have some time left over for the things that you actually want to do. Planning ahead is a huge time saver and as a nice little bonus, it can also save you a lot of money on your grocery bill because you're not leaving half a container of this to go bad in the fridge, soggy vegetables in the crisper. So this method has helped my clients save up to $300 a month on their grocery bill and shave off five to 10 hours a week in their prep because they're not repeating the same steps night after night. So anytime you can batch something, you're going to get a lot more done in way less time. Don't worry about writing any of this down. I've created a complete guide for you guys to meal prepping like a pro, and I'm gonna include the link in the description box below so you can grab that at the end of this video. Let's get into it. So in the last video, I showed you guys how to streamline your grocery shopping and meal planning. So if you missed that, I'll include the link to that video down below as well. But now that you've made it out of the grocery store alive and you've got the groceries in the house, it's time to set yourself up for stress-free meals for the week. So what exactly is the 3 to one method? This strategy limits your prep to just six ingredients. So three vegetables, two proteins, and one carbohydrate. Although this might not sound like a ton of variety, it gives you the core ingredients that you need to create balanced meals, and then you'll be able to fill them in with different flavor throughout the week, get those different meals by adding in fast foods. So as a quick little recap, when I'm talking about fast foods, I'm not talking about the McDonald's drive through what I'm talking about here are whole food ingredients that take little to no extra time to prep, but are really going to allow you to have that variety. So we're not talking about meal prep here where you've got those identical five containers lined up on the counter, filling them with brown rice, boiled chicken, some form of greens. No one is going to want to stick to that. We are talking about meals here that you're going to crave and those fast foods allow you to do that. So that could be bins of greens, it could be different spices, it could be wraps or tortillas, maybe some canned tomatoes. So I will show you guys the exact fast foods that I'm going to be using for my meals this week. Another time-saving trick that I swear by is when I'm planning my meals out for the week, I always make sure that my dinners are going to have enough leftovers for lunch the next day. So you're not going to end up eating the same dinner night after night, but you might as well again save on that time, cook once and eat twice. We've covered the first trick to really cutting down on your meal prep time, and that is limiting your prep to just six, six key ingredients. Now the second thing that's going to make a huge difference is the order that you prep your ingredients. So to remember this, you're going to want to prep in the opposite order of your three, two, one, and start with your one, two, three. First up, we're starting with our one carbohydrate. And the reason for this is that generally they're going to take the longest. So this week, for example, I'm doing brown rice. It's going to take about 40 to 45 minutes to cook, but it really doesn't take much hands on time. So I throw it in the rice cooker, turn it on, and then I've got 45 minutes to prep my other ingredients. Next up, we've got our two proteins. So these are going to take a little bit more hands on time, pretty much just to season them, get them on their pan or onto the stove to cook up. But once they're cooking, they might take a flip here or there, a little bit of a stir, but again, really minimal hands on time. For the chicken, I'm just going to bake it in this pan and I'm just going to toss it with a little bit of avocado oil because I'm cooking at a higher temperature. I'm going to be cooking at 400 degrees and then I'm just going to sprinkle on a little bit of salt and pepper to keep the flavor um, rather plain so that it's more versatile for meals. I'm just going to leave one can as is because I'm going to throw that right into curries, um, dishes that they don't need to be pre-seasoned. And then with the other can, I have rinsed them off to get rid of any extra sodium and patted them dry so that they'll really roast and crisp up. And I'm going to be adding a bit of chili powder, 
some cumin, as well as salt and pepper. And I'm gonna roast these up and these are gonna go in tacos for the week. I'm also gonna throw them into a salad that I'm doing. So this just gives them a little bit of extra flavor. Some avocado oil in there as well. Mix those up. And then the chicken and the chickpeas are ready to go into the oven. Last but definitely not least is our three veggies. This week I'm doing cauliflower, purple cabbage, and an assortment of bell peppers. The reason we're finishing up with these is that they generally take the longest to prepare, so often get left out of our meals entirely, but they add so much nutritional value to our meals. They bulk things up with their fiber, they help to keep us full and satisfied longer, they provide those gorgeous colors that make a dish look more beautiful, and this is due to all of the antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties in those foods. So we definitely want to make sure that they're not getting left out. For the veggies, I'm starting off with the cauliflower because it's gonna go into the oven and get roasted, so it will take the longest. So I always just cut it in half first to make it easier to cut, and then lay it down on the flat side and cut sort of a triangle into the bottom to get that thick stem out of there. And from there, you can basically just pull it apart. So I pull apart the big florets and then I'll cut them into slightly smaller pieces. When you're laying out your cauliflower, you wanna make sure that you're leaving some space in between. This will allow them to actually roast and get crispy and brown. If you pack them too close together, they'll sort of steam. So it just kinda of depends on what you're going for there. Just under an hour, I've got all of my ingredients prepped, the kitchen's all cleaned up, and they're packaged up and ready to go. So I've got my one carbohydrate here. The reason I packaged it in a couple of different containers is because some will go in the fridge and some will go in the freezer. This is how we can make it last all week. For the protein, we've got our chicken. It's all sliced up and ready to go. The chickpeas are nice and roasted. And then we've got our sliced cabbage roasted cauliflower and bell peppers. Another trick here, I've put some paper towel to separate the bell peppers so that they don't get soggy. This will also allow them to last throughout the week. So here's where it gets fun. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm able to make with just these core ingredients throughout the week. First up, I've got a chicken Buddha bowl. So we're using our chicken, brown rice. I'm gonna throw on some of the sliced red bell peppers. Uh, the shredded cabbage, and then for my fast foods, I've got some arugula, which is gonna add some extra greens, an avocado, and I'm gonna make a spicy peanut dressing with soy sauce, peanut butter, a little bit of warm water, chili flakes, and maybe a bit of sesame oil. Next up, roasted cauliflower chickpea tacos. So from our prep, we've got the chickpeas and the cauliflower. The fast foods, I've got some tortillas or taco shells here. I'm gonna throw some avocado on there, again, some more greens. And then I've got red onion, tomatoes to top the tacos. As well, I'm gonna make a lime crema with some Greek yogurt and lime. For meal number three, one of my favorites, I'm making a red Thai curry. So from our prep, we've got the brown rice, the purple cabbage for some crunch, I'm gonna throw the diced purple peppers in this one. And then this is where my whole chickpeas are coming into play. I'm just gonna throw those right into the sauce. For fast foods, I've got coconut milk, some red Thai curry paste, uh, some lime, and then I'm probably gonna throw some fresh basil on there as well. Next up, we've got California chicken burgers. I had actually meant to leave the chicken breast whole for this one, forgot and cut it up so you could do it cut up or whole. Got some whole grain buns, and then I'm gonna put some slices of red onion, some creamy avocado, and I'm gonna make a sriracha aioli with Greek yogurt and sriracha and a pinch of salt. And then a green salad on the side with my arugula, some cherry tomatoes, and I'll just do a balsamic vinaigrette on there. These ingredients are for a cauliflower grain salad. So we've got our roasted cauliflower, the chickpeas for some protein, 
Here I'm using brown rice. I really like this one with couscous or quinoa, but you can switch it up depending on what you prep for the week. And then of course, we've got our greens, and I'm doing a jalapeno mint dressing. So this is a jalapeno from our garden, which is why it's turning a little red. Mint, honey, I'll throw some olive oil and white wine vinegar in there as well. For another meal, I'm gonna mix it up by going with Mediterranean flavors. So this is gonna be a Mediterranean chickpea grain bowl. So here I'm gonna be throwing in some olives, some feta cheese, some red wine vinegar, oregano, lemon, and extra virgin olive oil, and then throwing in some of that roasted cauliflower for some veggies, some rice, and then throwing the chickpeas in there for protein. And I'm really feeling the Mexican vibes this week, so for the last meal, I'm gonna do chicken fajitas. So I'm gonna put a little bit more of the chili and cumin that I uh, had put on the chickpeas and throw that onto the chicken. I've got lime, some salsa, and then I'm gonna use the sliced red peppers for this one. Um, also slice up a bunch of red onion, so that's gonna be the main part of the filling. And then we've got our wraps and of course the chicken. Now that you know the secret to getting a variety of healthy meals on the table quickly and easily throughout the week, make sure to download your free copy of the guide down below so that you can master meal prep like a pro. I really hope that this video helped to make meal prep feel a little bit less daunting. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up down below and leave me a comment with got this if you're feeling a little bit more confident in your meal prep skills. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button below for more weekly videos. Until then, you can also find me over on Instagram at Lindsay Plescott for more daily inspiration, and I'll see you guys in the next video.